um, open a new folder. Okay, um, go to your uh, this PC and look for a USB drive. So for example, I got one over here. You can uh, right click it, open the option menu, click format. Okay, do quick format. It depends on the size of your USB t stick, but usually go with, uh, with the default. Press start, okay. All right, so we have a nice and clean uh, USB. By any chance, if you, if anything, sometimes if you format your USB and it disappears, just pull it out. And every time you do pull out a USB stick out of your computer, um, go to the bottom menu, all the way on the right, look for this little icon. It's gonna show you like a USB stick. Click it and press eject um, ultra fit or whatever usb whatever usb stick you have eject it it's gonna cut it's gonna cut the power down from it so when you yank it out sometimes what happens you can corrupt the data on it <clears throat> so always when you pull out your usb stick go here like i said and then press the same thing for sd card or or whatever memory device you're gonna be plugging into your computer Okay, so we're gonna go to USB drive. Click it. Let's gonna press new. Okay, go to folder. And we can call it Mazak. Okay, we got our one folder. For example, um, you know, you can create another folder. Same thing, new folder. Mazak 2. Um, if for if you have jobs that are numerical, you know you can say Mazak 1, and um, if you have jobs that start with letters like A, B, C, whatever, you can call it Mazak A. And sometimes you can segregate them if that is um, of any help for you. But technically, this works now. So Mazak. If you plug in your USB stick, it can find the root folders. So the root folders are the original folders that are on your page, like on your original page. If you go into this folder and then create, for example, another folder. So we can create another folder. Let me see. New folder. This folder is not going to work. Uh, Mazak not going to see it. Okay, Mazak only sees the folders in uh, in the root directory. Hey guys, um, this video that we are going to concentrate on uh, loading programs, on saving programs, and uh, backing up your programs and such. Um, two options that you have. Um, that's mostly used that's going to be your uh, built-in hard drive uh, and then your USB stick that uh, goes over here on the side of the control. Now uh, that's going to be on the smooth G control. Um, if you have a uh, matrix it might be located somewhere else. Um, I don't actually remember uh, what you call it. And then you have your NC drive and what NC drive is, is the drive that um, your machine runs all the programs from. So let's call it that you have a program uh, you've created and you wanna back that program up. So first of all, we're gonna be on a position page right here. You're gonna hit that left soft key. And then if you run on the bottom bar on the right side, you're gonna see that data in and out. You're gonna press that. And then you have your various options, USB, uh, hard disk, and you have your SD. So we're gonna concentrate on USB and, and hard disk. Okay, so you can go to USB. And now, when you have a USB, make sure it's like, a, let's say five gigabytes or 10 gigabytes. I forgot, but there's a maximum capacity. So let's say if you have a 100 gigabyte uh, USB, the machine might not read it. 
create a uh, so uh, get a USB stick, format it, and create a folder. Like for example, Mazak one, you can create multiple folders: Mazak two, Mazak three, and whatnot. But do not create a let's say uh, Mazak one. Open that folder and create another folder. The Mazak cannot see the subfolders, only the root folders. Okay and you have uh, once you press the uh, uh, usb you have options it says usb to nc so that means if you have a program already saved on usb and you want to bring it up uh, bring it back to the uh to the machine you know the machine because you're gonna uh, run it then usb to nc then this is a program if it's already on mass control and you're trying to back it up it's gonna be to nc to usb and so on and so forth so first, if you're gonna put in your USB stick into the machine, you have to pick a USB drive first, okay? So go to USB drive, select, okay? And you're gonna have a pop-up window and it's gonna show you uh, in uh, this, uh, uh, this particular uh, control, it's usually E. Um, I've never done it on any other machine, so I don't know what else is going to show you. But let's say we're going to pick whatever it's highlighted here. We're going to press OK. And we're not done. Now, you're going to have to go and you have to set the uh, direct, uh, directory select. Okay, so that means we picked a USB. Now we have to pick the folder that's created. So you have your Mazak 1, Mazak 2, Mazak 3. You have to pick that. Directory select. And... On directory select, same thing is gonna show you. I only have one folder, right? I'm gonna go to the Mazak, and I'm gonna press OK. Now, um, you can do, so let's pick NC to USB, okay? And this is gonna be your NC, this is gonna be your SC, and you can go select all. If you pre press select all, and OK, it's gonna populate all the programs for you. Um, and uh, what do you call it? If you just want to select one, so for example, if everything is highlighted and you want to back all these programs, then all the way on the right, just press the start and it's going to start backing, it's going to start sending all the programs. Never use, you can, but I don't. I don't back out uh, this section, which is other data. Because what happened is, you, if you watch my previous videos, you know, uh, I call my tools ADF or, you know, 55 or, you know, one inch boarding bar. That means occasionally I'll go and I'll change the stations on the turret, okay? And the machine looks for 80. It doesn't care if it's on the position four or if it's in a position six and 10 and such. The machine doesn't care for that. But if you back this up, it will back up the position. So what happens, for example, you know you had your tool 55 on uh, station one now it's on station three well guess what it's gonna put that uh, put that tool on station one so now you have to go i had to go and reset all the tools so now it's like i i stay away from the other data the only thing is i do backup is your programs now what if you want to back up like only one for example right you know you're pressing here you know it's like well Holy shit, and it's like all I need to one. So you can go select all cancel, press OK, okay, and then press one. And the one that's highlighted, you're gonna press start and it's gonna back it up. All right. Um, so let's say um, I'm gonna uh, go back. So data in and out, uh, USB. Um, let's say we wanna go and we wanna pull something from USB, right? So same thing is like you have a bunch of programs, you know, that you can back up, click and whatnot. If you wanna like put every like all back, same thing as select all. Okay. Now you have all the programs. All is select all cancel is gonna cancel all the programs. As you see, now we're going back to the same page. Um, then you can do select mode. For example, it's only gonna do one. So select mode, only one, select all, it's all of them, okay? Or select all cancel. See, now we got rid of it, it's still a, what do you call it? So, single programs, and this is USB. So, if you're going, let's, let's go back again. So, USB, 
So if you press this one, USB to NC, your USB programs will populate. If you go into NC to USB, your NC will populate here. All right, let's go to the next one. Data in and out, now we're talking about a hard drive. Similar options, NC, okay. So from hard drive to NC load, or from NC to HD save, right? So for example, okay, we're gonna do um, select all, right? We're gonna populate all of them. Now we have all the programs. Or for example, um, and then you can press start. Designated directory not found. Okay, so we go to direct, uh, directory select, right? Now you have a directory select over here, and so you can create multiple folders on your drive. Um, you can go by, for example, dates. So, you know, like today is, um, let me see, today is uh, 627, you know, so you can do 627, you know, 23 or, or, or whatever you want. Or you can click the date or previous uh, backup and this will just add to what you already have. Um, but for example, uh, what do you call it? So, you know, so you can crisscross them. It's like sometimes if uh, I cannot tell you 100% because I never checked if you, for example, like I start adding comments to my programs recently, if the programs with the comments now, they will overwrite uh, the old programs or, you know, so that's why uh, you have more storage on your uh, uh, hard drive. So. I would just keep it and you know and just pay attention to how it's safe if, if it overrides it replace it or if it's not gonna do that uh, but that's why it's like you have multiple choices and you know so just uh, back your shit up to your USB stick go on a computer create a folder you know with the date and then let's say you know once you pull out a program and you see it was like this is an old program I've made an update then let's say go to your hard drive and uh and you know and try to pull that program and you know in the future if, as a reference you'll know it's like well you know this is not overwriting it's keeping the old program and you know and i, I made a program that's better uh or you can do like uh you know c program whatever it's like cams and then you can call it a v2 you know like a version 2 um and you know that that you'll know it's going to be an updated so it's like when it's going to come out it's gonna show them back to back, but it's gonna be, you know, regular or V2, then just delete this one. And, and simple as that, and you're gonna have your updated, you know, better program uh, for the future. Um, all right, so I think I bubbled enough. Um, this is self-explanatory. I will uh, take some uh, photos and I will update them to the end of the videos. Um, you know, so I'll, with the pages and whatnot, and uh, what do you call it, and options, and thank you for watching, and see you next time.